앞으로도 잘할게, 잘할게. 라고 약속해, 약속해. 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 baby Hi everyone, welcome to another video and in today's video I am going to be decluttering all the pink lipsticks that I have I have no idea how many but my rough estimate would be I probably have nearly 50 pink lipsticks that need to that I need to go through and sort of declutter. And the first order of business should be counting the number of lipsticks I have. So I'm just very quickly going to do that. I have 41 lipsticks just as a quick overview they are essentially three categories of lipsticks that I will have or four one is the ones that I'm definitely keeping second ones I'm definitely throwing away third is giving to friends and family and fourth it's a temporary solution where I'm not sure about it or I want to use it for just one more video and then throw it away. I also would like to apologize for my voice I'm dealing with a terrible viral bout right now luckily it's not COVID but it's it's really done a number on me this week so my voice is is just in recovery mode this video might be frequently interrupted by a lot of throat clearing and coughing so just please um forgive me for that wow look at this lipstick it's so nice to just look at them hmm. i don't know where to start let me start from the top so this is one of my newer lipsticks it's the dolce and cabana lipstick dahlia now obviously I'm keeping this, it's a new lipstick in my collection, I actually like it but I'm going to swatch it for your benefit. Why is this not focusing? I'm so sorry, I'm just working with like a makeshift camera. See, perfect. So this is the shade Dahlia, it's a lovely liquid formula. Does Is it worth the designer price tag? Not really because the formula is nothing to write home about. The color is nothing very different. But I really like it. So I will hold on to it. I do remember using it up. This is Bobbi Brown Luxe Matte Lip Color in the shade Raspberry. This is a lovely lip color. And this has to be one of my favorite lip formulas. I love it for all skin tones. I think this is one of those lip colors which works really well across skin tones. And this formula has to be the most comfortable formula I've seen, or i felt rather. So had I not been on a no-buy, I would have actually used this opportunity to buy more colors in this formula. But yeah, Bobbi Brown Luxe Matte Lip in the shade Raspberry, definitely keeping. And then there is this Clarins formula in the shade 04. Again, one of those really underrated formulae. I discovered this by chance. It's just such a lovely mousy color. I love this for when I'm at home and I want to wear a lip and, and not look like I'm dead. This is just beautiful. They only have four shades in this though. One pink, one red. And I think the other two are too nude or brown to look good on me. But the other one in red is also very, very pretty. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Mini in the shade Pillow Talk. Now, Pillow Talk is supposed to be an iconic shade, but... Yeah, this is Pillow Talk, right? Yeah, it's an iconic shade, but unfortunately, it's too light on me. Yeah, it's just way too light on me. Is it focusing? I will declutter this. I will give this to a friend who might like it. I think I have two Pillow Talks. Wait, is this the other one? No, this is Pillow Talk medium. I think this is the other one. Yeah, I have two Pillow Talks, which I got free for free which just is too light on me so i'm going to give this away to a friend you know who might enjoy it better and give it more use let me try to fix the focus a bit are we good we're good this face is canada lipstick this is the belle deluxe lipstick i think it's the shade yeah victorian mauve unfortunately i think they've uh, discontinued this lip which is really unfortunate because I love this color. I absolutely love this lip color. And you can see why. It's so pretty. 
It's literally like in between the Bobby Brown and the Dolce & Gabbana lip. It's beautiful. And this is quite an old lipstick but such a long lasting one. I've had this for at least 2-3 years and this is so good. Kiko Milano one. This is Kiko Milano in the shade 1. Is it one or is it something else? It's just this side called one weight. Oh God, why is, why is it so difficult to focus? Unfortunately, I don't know what shade this is. You know, this is pretty. But this is quite old, even though it smells okay. And you know what? I never remember to use this. So I'm going to declutter this. I'm going to throw this away because I, I think it's too old for me to even ask anyone if they would want it so next i have this gucci lipstick one of my favorite lipsticks in the shade can you see louisa red this is like it says louisa red but it's actually more of a pink this has to be one of my favorite lip formula it took all the self-control self i had to not go back to the store and buy all the colors in this shade this is hands down one of my favorite lip colors honestly I have this lip color. Oh, I didn't know. This is Clinique in the shade Love Pop. Okay. Okay, why does this look so beat up? I don't remember using this at all. This is a really nice one second. Is this focusing? Really pretty shiny shade. How does this smell? Doesn't smell like anything. I just never remember to use this. I have to use this more. Then I have this Bobbi Brown Mini in the shade Smoothie Move. I've received so many of these samples as a GWP gift with purchase. Honestly, it's like how many more samples do you need, right? And while this is convenient for travel, do I want to hold on to it? Yeah, I possibly do, so I'll keep it. Oh God, I'm doing such a bad job of decluttering. I have another one. So since I have two of these, but I don't know how old these are since I got them free, so I can't even give it to someone. I'll just keep them. They smell fine. I have this NY Bay lipstick in the shade <laughs> Pillow Top 14. Okay, let's see. Hmm. You know what? I unfortunately don't like the smell of this and I think it's too light. So I'm going to look at when I bought this and give it away to a friend if she wants it. Then I have this beautiful Estee Lauder lipstick in the shade Heart Crush, I think. Yeah, this has to be one of my favorite lipsticks. Particularly for the smell, you know, it smells like one of the ice creams. Some quality walls ice cream. I don't know which one. But you know what? This is literally almost done. I can't believe it, but this lipstick is almost done. So this is going bye-bye. Then I have this Etude House lipstick in... What is this called? It's called Glass Rouge. I think I was gifted this. Glass Rouge Tint in Evening Mauve. I don't even think I've ever used this or tried this. Yeah, I think this is completely sealed. And since I have so many lipsticks and this is virtually unused, I'm going to give this away. Then I have this Lime Crime lipstick in the shade Rustic. Yeah. Now, I've used this a while. But... You know, I'm not a fan of the shade. I don't think I ever gravitate towards this. I think I have some more Huda Beauty lipsticks, which is not in India, which works like this. So, and because this is quite old, I'm not even comfortable giving this away. I think this is at least three, four years old. So this is a maybe. I'll just, no, this is definitely old and I've used this a lot. So I don't think I can give this away. So I am going to declutter this. Then I have this NY Bay lipstick in the shade Amaze, which I actually really like this formula. It looks very light, but when I go with multiple layers, it looks very pretty. 
and I think they discontinued the shade so I'm gonna hold on to this then there is this Just Herbs lipstick in the shade Tiltu it says deep pink but it's not a deep pink yeah it's like a fuchsia pink which is a maybe because I think I have other colors like this yeah, it's a maybe. I'll just hold on to this for video purposes because I have a bunch of Just Herbs lipsticks. Then I have this Faces Canada Ultimate Pro lipstick in the shade Stay Neutral. Yeah, it's Stay Neutral. Let's see how this swatches. Oh, wow. This is very similar to some of these. So I think it will be very light. Uh, I should give this away. Yeah, I've hardly used it. It just makes sense to give it to somebody who will. Then I have this Etude House Watery Tint in the shade Rose Bonbon. Is it Pink Bella or Rose Bonbon? It's so confusing. Now, this is a water tint, but I really like the way this felt on my lips. It smells too alcoholy, but... You know, I don't have many tints, so I will keep that. What is this? This is an NY Bay lipstick. No, purple lipstick. In the shade Game Night Partner. Now, you know what? This is too fuchsia. I'm sure I have repeat shades. Let me just check this with Tiltu and some of the others and then decide to declutter. My hand is completely stained. It looks like I've played holy. So I'll have to use other parts of my hand to kind of swatch. And let's get down to it. So next, I have this Fay lipstick in the shade 2 Basic. And it's already popping out. Oh god, this smells absolutely terrible i don't even want to hold on to this for a swatch video so i'm throwing this out i swear guys Faye was the most disappointing brand that i've ever tried especially because everyone hypes it up so much next i have this k i'm sure this is like a k by katrina lipstick sorry about the focus yeah but this is so annoying i don't think this has the shade name anywhere but i do remember this was inspired by movie names i thought the names were very inventive and this is a lovely color though this smells like nothing actually so i think i can still hold on to this though i never used it so i should just get back to using this then i have this bobby brown mini in the shade babe this is the shade babe which you know looks very light but i've worn it and it looks really nice uh babe and k by katrina look very similar hmm. but this is a more glossy finish k by katrina is a more matte finish so i'll just hold on to both for now then there is this bobby brown lipstick in the shade pink rose now this is a really old lipstick so it's time to declutter this yeah it's also turning like and smelling like plastic but it's such a lovely formula i love the way it looked on my lips but this is at least four five years old i can't hold on to this anymore i remember buying it in turkey where i found bobby brown so affordable compared to india then i have this asa lipstick in the shade pretty petunia Mm. this is also very pretty but it's very similar isn't it exactly like the k by katrina lipstick mm. yeah they look very similar like like i don't even know what is the unit for color called it's like that the smallest unit of color car difference i'm definitely going to swatch these i have I think 10 Asa lipsticks at this point and I definitely want to have a dedicated video just discussing Asa lipsticks and swatching the shades. So I'm definitely going to keep this. But I will revisit this in the context of other lipsticks. Then I have this lip color called Stoned Rose from Charlotte Tilbury. It's again one of those gift with purchase things that I got. 
Mm. This is actually more nude, more peach. I love the way this smells. So I'm just going to hold on to it. I've never tried it, I think, before. So I'm not sure how it will work. Then I have the shade Pillow Talk Medium, I think. Yeah, now this one works for me. This is, you know what Pillow Talk does to most white or, you know, fairer skin tones? This is what does to our, like, you know, my skin tone, like, which is like a brown NC42 sort of a skin tone. Definitely keeping this. And this is also like a Dalex Mini. So it's like quite a lot of product, which I'm very happy about because lipsticks literally last forever. I have another Asa lipstick in the shade Bold Berries, which I don't think should be here. It's, yeah, it's... What I mean by that is it would be more berry or purple rather than pink. But since it's here, I like it. And I'm going to keep it. Like, I'm going to keep all my Asa lipsticks. This ever end. So then I have my latest Bobbi Brown, which is... Yeah in the shade it's like the luxe defining lipstick and this is not focusing in the shade avant gardenia and this is really pretty but you know i just have made too many pink lipsticks which i don't want to let go of this there's no way i'm letting go of this one because i just bought this this is like not even six months old I have this Shiseido lipstick in the shade Selfie. This is going nowhere. I've had this for a while. I love the way this looks. It's like a bright fuchsia. So this is staying and you can also see how much I've used of this. Yeah, you can see how much I've used of this. I have this MAC lip color in the shade All Fired Up. Is this similar to... No, it's a bit more brighter than... The Shiseido one. This also I'm keeping. And these are two of my standard MAC lipsticks, which I'm obviously not letting go of. I love these too much. This is the shade Meher. Yeah, this still smells good, so keeping. I love the formula of these matte lipsticks. And this is a more cool toned purplish pink called Soar keeping love the way this looks on my skin then i have these two ofra lipsticks and both are the same you know i'm tempted to declutter them but i'll just yeah because one is definitely dried out so this one i'm throwing and this one i'm keeping just for the purposes of a review is anyone even interested in ofra anymore i don't think so especially in india know what i'm getting rid of both of these finally i just have these three lip tints from just herbs this is in the shade rose coral which is okay let's do this decently this is actually more a pink red but very pretty i love the way lip tints look on your skin to be honest then this is the shade soft nude which is more nudish brown i should have included it in the previous video i i don't know how it got combined here it's lovely color keeping and then i have the shade mahogany yeah again lovely color keeping oh i love all of these lipsticks okay i'm keeping so let's do a tally what am i giving away okay so i'm giving away five lipsticks across four shades the charlotte tilbury pillow talks the faces canada ultim pro in the shade stay neutral the etude house gloss tint and then the nyb lipstick I'm giving, definitely giving those away. I'm throwing a couple for sure. Which are the ones I'm throwing? I'm throwing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Estee Lauder Heart Crush. The two Ofra lipsticks in the shade Unzipped. The Lacme Absolute Pout in the shade Pink Sorbet. The Kiko Milano where the shade name is rubbed off. 
Bobby Brown Pink Rose because it's too old. Faye because it's too disappointing. It's too basic. Maybe you should call it too disappointing. It's such a disappointing brand and shade. And finally, uh, Rustic from Lime Crime. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Therefore, so of the 41, 8 plus 4, 12 plus 5, 17. I am definitely going to get rid of in some shape or form, be it giving it away to friends or keeping it under advisement but giving it away or just throwing it away which means i'm left with only 24 wow that's yeah 8 plus 4 12 plus 5 17 that's pretty good i did not expect that wow good job yay that is good and my god these overhead shots are very difficult to shoot oh my back is hurting my throat is gone i can barely breathe i've literally done this in four takes now oh i really hope this is worth it please let me know in the comments below how you like these kind of videos and let me know if i should make more of these thanks bye <laughs> Yeah.